From Heidi Klum to Kamara Lee Simmons, Andrea Orbeck has helped Hollywood's hottest moms bounce back to their pre-baby shapes, and that's when she's not busy helping Victoria's Secret models stay runway ready. We are delighted to have Andrea here with us this morning, along with Leah, to share some of the secrets from her brand new DVD, Pregnancy Sculpt. Welcome, or well, rather, welcome home. Thank you. Uh, you are a Calgary girl. You went to school here, I understand, I mm -hmm. in kinesiology, and you were a member of the bobsled team. I did, yeah. So the, there's a lot of fond memories here, and it's an annual thing to come back for Stampede. I'm super excited. That makes sense. Okay, well, we're squeezing in a little bit of business, uh, and sure. we're talking about a brand new DVD. Now, we're going to demo some uh, exercises in just a little bit with Leah, but let's talk about maybe some misconceptions um, about pregnancy in general and fitness. A lot of times there's just super amounts of fear. Sadly, a lot of doctors, sure. a lot of people just have a lot of fear about how intense they can be with their exercise. They're fearful of abs. They're fearful of harming the baby, and science just doesn't agree with that. We mm -hmm. now know in the community that you can do as much exercise as you had been going in, and if you get approval from your doctor, you can maintain the schedule you had just before conceiving. Uh, and what about the idea, that whole, I'm eating for two thing? Yeah. How does that play into it? Because, I mean, I, I got to think that that, you know, the more weight you put on, and some people are prone and some, uh, some sure. aren't, but the more you put on, the harder it's going to be post-pregnancy. Sure. And like a lot of times, people just eat way too much. They use it as a scapegoat, and unfortunately, they end up gaining way too much weight. It doesn't help the baby, and it really doesn't get you back into your skinny jeans after. The key is to kind of have around 250 extra calories a day after the second trimester on, which really the average lady doesn't need to gain any more than 35, right. and that's going to save her a lot of trouble in the end. Okay. So let's... Uh, get to some exercises. Uh, this is stuff that's featured on the DVD. It sure is. And they're just things to oppose the slouch. When we have, you know, we start to grow boobs and belly and a lot of blood, we want to be able to <laughs> Leah add. Knows. Yeah, <laughs> Leah knows. And so, you know, Leah being in her 24th week, we can see the sh changes and the shifts in the body. So one of the movements is to add a little bit of strength within the upper body. And then from there, it's to address the back. And from there, we do like a Romanian deadlift, tilting forward and then rolling on up. So where this is important is not only does it it opposes the slouch of the chest. It also allows that back stability that we need, especially after baby. It's good to have practice bending down. So she's doing something, an amended Romanian deadlift, uh, except that she's not using weights, she's using what? She's using a band, and this is called the hipster, and I invented it to kind of go anywhere for all my supermodels and, you know, all my mom shells that need it. And so it just provides resistance. And so with that, you get probably about 10 pounds of resistance when you pull it, and you can see that it places her shoulders in a nice scap retraction, and it mm. opposes the slouch. Oh, I, I could have used that because I remember it was this area right here. Yeah that just killed me in my third trimester. And it's really painful because you got to consider your frame in 40 weeks is actually getting so much weight opposed to it, it's really hard. So we need to do movements that oppose that distribution of weight in the front. Okay, let's take a look at another exercise. So another one, of course, when we start to get heavier, we need our legs to become conditioned because naturally we're adding weight as we go along in the weeks. So a great movement is literally the squat. And so I've got the band on her to continue adding a little bit more bum and glute work. Of course, all those hormones, they loosen up the hips. Yeah, yeah and so we want to be able to keep our glutes nice and tight. We don't need to lose our tight little tone tushy. We just need to make sure that, you know, that sacrum is really stable. There you go. That's okay. perfect. And maybe we have time to take a look at one more. Right, and so the next one is abs. And so getting down on the mat. Abs. So a lot of women are really, really <laughs> frightened with abs. And the key is to go ahead and lay flat on your back, Miss Leah. And so the key is to go up on your hands. Now, a lot of women are scared of abs because of, you know, they think that it's going to harm the baby. We just modify. So really what you're going to do is keep your heart rate above the belly so that you don't push on those veins. And then with that, you pull both knees into your chest and then you slowly just drop one leg and then the other. Good, so you'll be able to feel the abs and keep that core nice and conditioned. You're gonna use those abs to push. It's important to have that core strength and stability. Perfect, and then when you're advanced like Leah, you can do both legs mm -hmm. up and down. And can you feel that? And so you have basically for each trimester, I do. you have a variation? Yep. Okay, and where can people get this, by the on, way? Online, on my website, and on Amazon as well. Okay, make sure we put the information up at breakfasttelevision.ca. The DVD, Pregnancy Sculpt, is available now. Andrea, thank you for coming in. Thank and you so Leah, much. you look fantastic. You oh, look beautiful. You <laughs> so best of luck with everything.